Uh, right, lads, so we're moving on to the scenery here. And this is a brand new uh, scenery. Uh, currently not released yet, but it's coming very, very soon. It's from Flight Effects, the developers who brought us the iconic Vision Jet, right? The upcoming release of Kilo Delta Papa Alpha DuPage Airport, which is slated for release, uh, I think it's next week, and it's going to be available on the Marketplace, Contrail, Dreamy, sleepy, Orbex, nighty, snoozy, snooze. and flightsin.to, thank you for the lights, uh, for a price of $14.99. Chicagoland's DuPage Airport, located just 30 miles west of Chicago, and within minutes of all of Chicago's major commercial centres in the western suburban areas, home to the largest concentration of corporate aircraft in Illinois, DuPage offers 2,800 acres of property with over 30 businesses, including the internationally recognised DuPage Flight Centre. KDPA is the only general aviation airport in Illinois with four active runways. It has two ILS approaches and a 24-hour FAA air control tower. DuPage Airport has 7,570-foot long runway, an on-site US Customs Office, and the largest operational maintenance staff of any general aviation airport in Illinois. How cool is this? It's built in coordination with the DuPage Airport Authority, on-site photography of all the major facilities, reworked taxiways and signages, high-resolution photographic, photographic textures, custom ground planes, a custom rotating radar facility, manual unwrapping of all the UVW maps, custom emissive night lighting, bespoke details and highlights, accurate landscaping, uh, natural undulating runways, interior modelling of key structures, in-hangar parking spaces and starting uh, spots, interior modelled hangars, handcrafted commercial signage uh, all around the airport, the static GA and corporate aircraft, reworked landscaping and also ambient lighting improvements. This is a huge, huge setup. So let's go for a spin around the block and see what we can see, right? I opened up, as I usually do when I'm checking out an airport, I open up Bing Maps or Google Maps and I just go for a bit of a wander because I was saying, Jesus, I said, the, uh, the ramp is very bright looking, right? But it is. You open Bing Maps and you look for the equivalent, it's exactly like this, right? It's not very kind of a bright colour. Then when it came to the buildings, the shapes, the locations, the sizes, as in the scale, Everything here is a carbon copy of what you'll find on any of the satellite imagery, be it Google or Bing. It's stunning. And I have to say, the general layout of the place, and because it's general aviation, which you could land something a lot bigger if you wanted to. I mean, look at the runway there. It's huge, right? Absolutely huge. So we're going to take you down this neck of the woods just to give you an idea of the scale of this airport. And you're in, you're in a beautiful part of the world, Illinois, you know? You're near Aurora. Well, not really, but Dreamy, not far, sleepy, you know? nighty, snoozy snooze. Man, Muse, turning off things. Uh, but let's go down to this uh, radar facility. That's all modelled, right? This is fifteen dollars, lads. Right? Just to get, right? It's a fifteen dollar airport, which is stunning, right? Um, perimeter fencing is all there. High resolution textures. You can see the terrain, how it rolls, and all that's the grass. How it rolls, how it follows kind of contour lines. It's done really, really well, right? And when it comes to the buildings, like all the texture work, look. Taxiway texture, run-up area, everything's high resolution. All the all the signage is perfect. Everything here, lads, is absolutely bang on, right? But I want to ramble over here, right? Because flight effects, Nick, right? He's even put in the static aircraft that are visual on the satellite imagery as well. I mean, how cool is that, right? So there's like a Gulfstream. It's like a G4 or something or a G3. Stunning, right? Stunning. Uh, now, as we move across here, it's the buildings and it's all the lighting and it's class, right? All the buildings that they have, like there's a number of flight schools, flight centres, maintenance facilities, all the different hangars are there, right? And there are starting locations inside some of the hangars with doors opening and all this sort of jazz, right? Nice chopper park down there as well. If you go into this hangar, well, we can see what we're talking about. Look at the state of that, right? And the night lighting is beautiful here as well. We'll check that out here now in a moment, right? So there's plenty of space. You can see where the starting locations inside the hangars are. And I love this because we're kind of missing interiors, hangar interiors. So much so, I had to ask Jepson Terribly Nice to build us a hangar where we can show stuff off, right? So it's great to see now. Yeah, it's nice to start off inside the hangar, especially when you have add-ons similar to that of the Comanche that has its own, uh, you can push it out yourself. Do you know what I mean? Or you can use... Um, or you can do slew mode if you want, I suppose. 
Uh, but here we have this main terminal building. Isn't it gorgeous? The architecture here is stunning, right? And if we ramble in, lads, we'll ramble into the building. Sure, why not? It has a friggin' interior look. The interior is modelled of the building. I love this. Stunning. Some nice pictures. Seating, chairs. It's basic, but it's nice. You know what I mean? It's the right amount of... Yeah, it looks fairly decent, right? That's a real-world photo, just to give you an idea. It's pretty cool, right? So, do page. Um, it's going to be released soon by Flight FX. And considering these guys... Well, you know where the level of detail is. I mean, they brought us the friggin' Division Jet. You know what I mean? Enjoy a taste of Cornwall this summer at the Goring. There you go, bit of, uh, bit of stuff. It's a uh, Kilo KDPA. Kilo Delta Papa Alpha, right? Kilo Delta Papa Alpha. Uh, and it's being built by Flight Effects, and it's due to release, I think, kind of next week or so. So you'll have to keep an eye on it, right? But uh, now we'll go the far side. We'll go on the land side. Look at the detailing on the building. Isn't it stunning? So you can ramble up there by yonder control tower. And I suppose the biggest test we always do with scenery, and they have a control tower. Well, we have to... Did they model the control tower? If they didn't, I mean, we might as well just pack up our gear and go home, right? Uh, this is modelled. And it's modelled very, very well. It has an interior. There's some nice computer screens there. Decent resolution. And it just gives you that sense of, yeah, we're in the tower. Nice glass textures there. Nice reflections over the shop. It looks looks grand, doesn't it? it looks grand. So if you ramble out, yeah. There's no Skodas, I've checked. My heart is broken, right? There's no Skodas. Uh, so if, if, if it was ever going to lose points, it's because there's no Skodas, right? It uh, doesn't have them, Super Typhon, I checked. doesn't have them. Uh, but look, all the signage is done. Chicago Lands DuPage Flight Center, right? There's great detail here. The trees... And I'm going to have a bit of a, a whinge and a moan of the trees. Look how good the friggin' trees look. Okay, they just changed, granted. But look how good they look with the scenery. Murphy's having a go with the trees. They look fantastic. They're high definition. I wonder could, like, I etch in something there. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> Murphy was here. Do you know what I mean? Stunning. But it really does lend itself just to the, the detailing, if you like, at this airport. So we'll ramble down here. We'll go down to the entrance, look. Uh, i seen a pilot put the vision jet flaps up in real life just before touchdown to make it land better. Big Al, it's worth a try, man. You try it first. Here's a railway crossing. Yield right of way. It's up to the missus to save the great trees. Yeah, I'll have to check. Oh, Jason, I'm getting a bit of stutters there, lad. Sorry about that. Uh, right, anyway, hang on. Where's my mouse? That's where we're getting storage. Right, there we go. All is fixed. I, I hope, I think, I hope. Uh, so we go to the entrance point here. Look at this. DuPage Airport Flight Centre. And we have the American flag just sitting there as well. Isn't that a beautiful scene? Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Um, the PC-12, they're hoping to release that uh, soon. Soon. That's pretty nice with the flag, right? Now, as I said, uh, when I was comparing this to satellite imagery, all the buildings, the buildings are actually mentioned on, on, on Bing Maps or whatever, yeah? Well, all the buildings here are actually done correctly as well, right? All the aerospace buildings. Someone may have seen the golden arches below. McDonald's do have a corporate hub here. Um, so, you know, that's there. But uh, I want to show you some of this now. It's, it's a fairly big facility, this, right? So you can see where the fuel depot down here is. It's very nice, yes, yes. Again, highly detailed. Just, it's stunning. It's stunning. And the FPS, the performance I'm getting here, stunning. Even look at the grass. Look at this area here. Can you guys see the terrain? How it, You know what I mean? Like, clearly you can see the development process of this airport. Uh, it, it was done with love and affection and attention to detail. How easy is it just to, like, put a flat grass area when you come to kind of terrain mesh? Too easy. These guys, no, let's map it off the real world. I like that. The little things, the little things. Anyway, we ramble over here to our tea hangers, right? Uh, and this is where our general aviation stuff is. In particular, Cessna, the pilot center, right? But check out this, Illinois Drone Academy, for all things drone, right? Then we've owned down here, Aviation Summer Camp. Check out the interior look. It's very nice, isn't it? No plane, no gain. Flight training, aircraft rental, and aircraft management. Illinois Aviation Academy. How cool is that, lads? It's pretty, isn't it? It is pretty. And again, you have the hangar interiors. 
has static uh, aircraft parked up there just to give you that sense of oh, yeah nice right go down here we have a little signage tower road entrance flight center the north ramp uh powers road and they're all different like depending on what direction you're looking at right and uh, so these are all the kind of the tea hangers pilot shop is down here and like there's just there's a lot of small but very nice details here and for um we need one of those flying cars did you see that thing yeah i need to check that one out as well and there's a golf course located right beside us as well for those of you who enjoy uh in the festivities of you know uh playing with balls um but you can see from the buildings and like even the little bushes the bushels ah look isn't it done very well this is a cracker of a scenery from flight effects i have to say look at that plane master's jet charter i'm going down for me cup of tea there now put them on hold right uh, and we move further along down more tea hangers plenty of sta uh, static elements then you have like the uh the radio station radio station the radio antennas they're all parked here there's even two chairs sitting out there for bert and ernie hey bert hey ernie right then i found this place to be stunning down this neck of the woods this is where one of the flight schools are because the the difference in the uh ground texturing here and again it copies that of the of the satellite uh, images this is obviously the old part of the airport look at the ground textures aren't they stunning look at the state of it it's beautiful they're high resolution ground textures and it's just class right class there's a flight school down here i believe that's the flight school there right uh, and then we have some information here this is aviation services books aviation service man muck great man great man muck right uh, and then we have older hangers here some of the older tea hangers careful now sim right and if we ramble up this side now we have even more hangers more static aircraft and this one here belongs to Cirrus Aircraft Travel Express Aviation Rental Instruction Charter. And there's a number of static aircraft, including a PC-6 down the back there with a TBM. It's a nice touch, isn't it? I just think it's nice. Do you like it? Perimeter fencing is done. All the local buildings are correctly sized and uh, scaled, right? Which is always important when you're flying to and from airports because these are your visual references when you're trying to approach the airfield itself. Right? So we'll check out the night lighting and then things are going to get absolutely bananas because I have to try and land on an aircraft carrier. But check out the night lighting here, lads. Look. It's subtle but brilliant, right? So we can see all the taxiway lighting, the runway lighting, right? Four runways here, isn't that something else? The radar station is illuminated as well. You can see that just down here. I haven't done that with the exposure, but we can bring up the exposure so you guys might be able to see it a little bit better. It's really nice. And then if you go back towards, look at that, look at the, look at the surrounding area, look. Isn't it stunning? Look at the state of this place, right? Now, let's go in and have a look at what the lighting like, looks like now. Especially around this main terminal. I mean, look at this, lads. Isn't it gorgeous? Those floodlights. It's a beautiful airfield. And it's massive for general aviation and jets. It's huge. It's absolutely huge, right? So all the lighting here, it's its a touch of class. Even the car parking. Look at that. How it illuminates the little road coming in and out of the place. It's done really, really well. It's a great place to start a Route 66 flight. Funny you should mention that, Cat Bat. There's a Route 66 flight. I, I'm, I'm itching to do another one of those. Uh, and then we have the interior lights inside the hangars as well. Very, very atmospheric, lads. Surprise it's not a commercial airport with its size. Absolutely. But like, look at that. I don't know how well you can see that on the screen. How well those buildings to the right look, including the control tower. Like, it's photo real. Do you know what I mean? It's stunning. I've fallen in love. I've fallen in love with this place. It's a beautiful airport. Flight effects have done a great job here. Even the glass up on the top look. Look at the Look. Right. You know what I mean? It looks real. Yeah, it absolutely looks real. I'm so impressed with this place. Into the control tower at night time now, just to see what we can see. It's, it's done very well, you know. So, DuPage Airport. It's going to be released, I think, next week. Um, and uh, you're going to see it on the marketplace. And I have to say, lads, from, from my initial look at it, 
if, uh, shout out to Nico. He, he gave me a shout. He said, Murph, do you want to check this thing out? I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? I didn't know anything about it. Uh, and it's only when I started exploring it. Because it's general aviation, it's unique. Because it's just general aviation. Right? That's what I like about this place. It's for us. And it's a huge airport. All the starting locations, choppers, general aviation, business jets. I mean, that's where you want. And it's in an FBS friendly area as well. Stunning. 15 bucks, lads. That's the price tag on this. 14.99. And uh, I think Flight Effects have done a great job. 